is Colorado 7 News with Bertha Lynn, Ernie Bjorkman, Jeff Passold on Sports, and meteorologist Pam Dale with your first forecast. Colorado 7 News starts now. They waited by the phone all day. Finally, the call came in. Tonight, the FAA tells Mark Air it can get back into the air. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ernie Bjorkman. Bertha has the night off. Well, things are looking up for Mark Air tonight, but this has not been a good week for that airline. The FAA shut it down Tuesday night, citing inadequate records and maintenance procedures, but following a week of inspections and squabbling, Mark Air is finally back in business. Paul Reinerson joins us live from Denver International with that story. Paul? Well, Ernie, you know, Neil Burke, with uh, the president of uh, uh, Mark Air, is not happy at all about how this week has gone. Uh, he says that he doesn't agree with anything that the FAA has done relative to shutting down the airline, doesn't agree with the procedures that they went through. But what makes him most angry is that he tried all this week to cooperate with them. It's been a nightmare week for Mark here, grounded by the FAA for allegedly having inadequate maintenance procedures and personnel. They didn't need to cause this amount of disruption, and they didn't need to put this company in this jeopardy. For an airline already in bankruptcy, this was nearly devastating. May have killed us. May have killed us. 500 employees. We had 140,000 reservations. We've got people stranded at the airport. We've got children staying in foster homes. They've been hoping for that magic call for three days. We're just sitting here on pins and needles waiting for a final authorization to launch an airplane. There were plenty of false calls, literally. Mark Air. This is Glenn for you, Jeff. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> When the right call did finally come tonight, time for a little levity. Well, we're ready to launch our airplane. All right. No, we don't want to fly. <laughs> they really do want to fly. Yeah, it's really going to happen now. We're going to fly to Dallas tonight, and uh, we'll have the rest of the fleet back to sometime tomorrow. And, uh... and at least for now, Mark Air is back in business. And Ernie, we can tell you that they are in effect.